Good morning, everyone. Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here. Welcome to my channel. For the next two weeks, you are going to be seeing some, some special segments that I've done. You know, I had been thinking about what to do to celebrate my 100th floss tube, which is coming up this coming Tuesday from when I'm recording this. And I thought, you know, I would like to talk to you. Those of us who make the floss tube channels wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have such a rich experience without you out there watching us, supporting us, following us, um, sharing, you know, whatever we're doing out there in the rest of social media. And so I thought this would be a good time to celebrate you. There are those of you that um, don't want to do your own floss tube channels, but I thought you might like a little bit of a chance to shine. Now, my original idea was to talk to 10 or 12 of you, have a conversation of like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then compile those all into a nice video, and that would be my floss tube 100. I learned very quickly that it's impossible to speak for that short of a time about a craft that we love. So it turned out that pretty much every conversation so far um, has been about a half hour, give or take. So I've decided I am going to be releasing a different person's chat, my, my interview, chat with them every day for the next two weeks. I have 14 people lined up so far. I have talked with four. It has been amazing to um, have a face to put with the name, have a chance to learn more about you because you know so much about us. <laughs> and I know bits and pieces of some people, but it's just great to put it all together. So like I said, 14 people. There are people that have been stitching for decades and people who are fairly new stitchers. There are people that um, have come back to stitching after a long hiatus, kind of like myself. There are people that have been following my channel for quite a while, from the beginning for a couple of them, and others who are fairly new. So some of you I know, I know fairly well through different social media platforms as well as this one, and some of you I don't know hardly at all. So this gives me a chance to really get to know you. I am having a blast so far. I hope you enjoy these interviews, these chats, as much as I do. You are going to see a ton of amazing stitching and um, get a chance to meet the other people, some of the other people in the community. I plan on doing more of these. Um, but like I said, 14 for now. I hope you enjoy them. And now let's go to our first one. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, so today I am here. My first victim, as I told them, is Nicole Thompson and her daughter, Gemma. They are my friends in New Zealand, and I am thrilled to see you guys in person, face to face. Um, first, I'd like you guys to tell a little bit about yourself, where you live, what it's like there, your family, you know, anything you want to let everybody know. <laughs> um, oh, and um, I have five sons and three daughters. Oh my goodness! Great one. <laughs> wow, it's never quiet. It's always busy here. Um, at the moment, we're still in half lockdown, so I'm homeschooling my girls, and I still get to see my my eldest one, Gemma, which I'm wrapped about. And I stitch when I can. Most of the time, it's of an evening, because okay. through the day I'm busy homeschooling. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new skill you're learning, right? It is, but my husband's back at work, and that's a good thing. Yeah, so New Zealand is doing better than a lot of places in the world. Uh, yes, yesterday we only had one case, which was brilliant. Amazing. Um, so are, you're happy with how things were handled in spite of the kind of stricter law? Yes, yes, very happy. If we didn't, we would have been far worse. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, for New Zealand, like where, where are you in New Zealand? We are... For those of us that have no idea about the geography of your country. <laughs> kind of southeast of Australia. 
Okay, okay. And yeah. where on the island are you? I'm at the bottom of the North Island. Okay. I'm Where in the Hutt Valley region, which is about 40 minutes from the airport in Wellington. Okay, that's not bad then, right? Yep. Yeah. And Gemma, when she's not with me, she's in Johnsonville yeah. with her dad. And how far away is that from you? About 20 minutes yeah. drive. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. That's no. Not bad. So I'm gonna, we're gonna turn to some stitching questions now, and I do have my notes here, <laughs> so if I'm looking down here, that's what I'm looking at. And I'm probably looking at you on the screen instead of the camera. <laughs> Which yeah, would I'm actually be working at the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn talked to me about this, but it's very hard to look at the camera when your face is down here. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, stitching. Um, I would like both of you to tell me how you got started stitching. My mother taught me when I was seven. I'm now 43, and I've been stitching on and off all those years. Wow, that's a lot of stitching. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. And Gemma, did your mother teach you when you were seven? I was six. Oh, well, she started you early. <laughs> and have you been stitching on and off all those years? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite type of thing to stitch, Gemma? Do you have a favorite at this point? Not really. Not She's really. saying. <laughs> what about you, Nicole? At the moment, I'm right into my chatelaines. Well, That's what I've I been working on for over a week. <laughs> We will take a look at that in just a second. Um, so a lot of us, I think, are finding a peace and a comfort in stitching at, during this kind of insane time. Are you finding that? It's definitely my de-stress. Yeah, yeah. So you're finding that the stitching is bringing you a sense of peace. Have you had a time where you've had, like, you haven't been interested, where you lost your stitchy bug? I don't think I've had that problem for about three years now. Every single day I at least do stitching because it's my way of calming down before I go to bed. Yeah, yeah. I find yeah. If, I, if I don't stitch, I don't sleep. I can't imagine what it would be like not to have either like stitching or knitting, some kind of hobby to kind of lose myself in so that I can forget about all of this for a while, you know? Totally agree. Yeah, and yep. there's something about, you know, the pretty threads and the creating a picture that, yeah, I don't, I can't imagine. So, <laughs> it's going to be show and tell time. So, what would you like to show us? I think I'll probably go with my chatelaine because it's on my scroll rods at the moment. <laughs> you can show us more than one. Oh, and my death by cross stitch. Awesome. Because it's got the Mrs. Zeta silks. <laughs> Did you see my post that she is going to be opening oh, up? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so happy. Yes. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Now, which one is this, Nicole? This is Splendid Blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is Splendid just... Blue Splendid Blue 1. So, how close are you to being done? Well, that top half is completed. Okay, so you just have to do the black work on the bottom? The black work, a little bit of um, overlay with gold, oh. gold um, thread and a, a few more beads. Wow, that is gorgeous. Now, are you using the kit for it, like the called for, or are you, are you using your own? Only the beads and the metallics and the silk lame are called for. Okay. All the rest of the threads are from Thread Pickers. Okay, but they're like the, the basic same colors, though. Similar. There are some differences, but I'm okay with that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's I love gorgeous. it. Thread Pickers was more cost-effective for me. Right, right. How long have you been working on that? Um, on and off, 12 months. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's really good. And is there another Chatelaine then lined up after this? Two. <laughs> awesome. The next one, this one. And which one is this? A uh, Moroccan lace mandala. Oh, gorgeous. I love that one. Of course, yeah. look at all those turquoise. Yes. <laughs> and, and so do you have the same thing with that? Like 
the beads and the, the metallics and everything are called for and then just filling in the other ones with what you can Metallics are all called for and I've got the beads and all the silk spire thread pickers. Okay. Is Thread Pickers a, an Aussie company or? No, she's in Scotland. Oh, is she really? Yeah. Huh. I don't know that I've ever heard that one. Oh, it's worth it. Her threads are beautiful to use. Is she on Etsy? Um, no, she has a Facebook sale group and she does have her own um, website up as well. But at the moment it's closed due to the virus. The virus. Yeah. Um, what I will do when we're done here is I'll get the links for those from you and I'll put those, you know, in the description box underneath the video. Awesome. Yep. awesome. So what about <laughs> Beth? Or Gemma, are you ready to show some things? Yeah. So this is Sunset Splash um, Dreadery, I'm the designer. And um, it's gorgeous. So this is a full coverage piece. Yeah. Wonderful. Now the places that are I'm seeing the white is that stuff you still have to fill in, or is that going to be beads? It's going to be stuff I still have to fill in. What color goes there? Uh, similar kind of colors to what's around it. Oh, very pretty. It looks similar to in size to my fractal bookmark. It's wider. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that it's is not enough. It's not pages either side of it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And is this DMC? Yes. Yes, it was a DMC. Very pretty. What else do you got for us? Look the colors. Oh, wow. Nice. Very good. And this is Jimmy's hate. It wasn't a hoop for a while and it needs, needs a good wash. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. So which one is this? This is QS the roof. Wow. Boy, you are not afraid of big projects, young lady. Good <laughs> for you. You can see the thumb there. Oh, right, right. Wow. I am impressed. What, what count fabric is this? 14. Okay. 14 you count. Using two strands then? Two strands. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. I am impressed. So, so yeah, she's, um, I'm rather proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> So which one are, is, are you currently working on, Gemma? Wait, more, I'm working on the Sunset Splash one more, so the first one I showed. Yeah. Do you have a picture of what that's going to look like completed handy? Uh, I don't know if it's in color, though. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure if I printed it off in color or black and white. No, it's just the black and white, but. Well, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh. Gorgeous. It's similar to um, my Big Ben at Sunset. Okay, okay. Wow, that's gonna be striking. It will be. Very cool. So do you have Death by Sunset or Death by Cross Stitch handy there? I do. In my handy dandy stitchy bag. <laughs> this has been one I've been wanting to do for ages. And Nicole, it is just amazing. So I was telling Carolyn today, we were talking about Death by Cross Stitch because that's going to be one of her mania starts. And I was oh, telling okay. her, you know, I see all these ones with all the different colors. And I know that if I just continued doing it in that one color, just the rouge, I would be so bored. <laughs> I'm going to have to add more colors because I see these and just, I'm just wild. 
That's gorgeous. You two are some talented stitchers. I got darlings specifically to start Death by Cross Stitch. So are the other colors Mrs. Sadas as well? Uh, the rainbow type one is Mrs. Sadas. Okay. And uh, there's a few silks for you colors in there as well. Nice, nice. It's gorgeous. Mm. And a couple um, water lilies. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And a few treasure braids. Wonderful. To give it a bit of sparkle. You got to have the sparkle. Of course, that color fabric is awesome as well. That's from Fred Pickers. She hand dyes fabric as well. Okay. Oh, I need to find her. <laughs> Definitely need <laughs> to find her. So, um, speaking of mania, I understand you have mania plans. I do. I haven't participated before. This is my first uh -oh. time, but I figured this was Saturday, so I'll do five new starts. Nice, nice. Can you show us? Do you have them handy? I do a Glendon Place plum pudding. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty one. Very I'm trying nice. to get without the glare. <laughs> yeah, that, that's part of the challenge of these videos. That's pretty. Mm. So you have everything all kitted up, right? Oh yes, You're very right much. Cool. Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh my God! Look at those colors. Oh. Pickers again. Nice. The other one was is Erica Michaels. Um, have a heart. It's one of the freebies she's put up recently. Oh right. Yeah, that's a nice one. Very mm. nice. And what are you using for that one? I'm using Mosail threads for okay. that one. Very good. Nice. The other three, another Glendon place. Okay. And that's the her recent one she's put up. Oh right. Nice. Yep. Yep. Which I'm looking forward to. I'm using autumnal colours for that one. I'm changing the colours around. Oh pretty. That fabric is really pretty too. I, I styled that one. Did you? Nice. I did. So much talent. <laughs> the other one is Needleworks just a fan oh, sampler. Love that one. So what are and you using for that? Lots of Mosail floss. Oh, look <laughs> at that lusciousness. Oh, that is gorgeous. I deliberately put turquoise colors in it. Yeah, look at all that. Turquoise colors. Hiding up there because it knows I'll steal it. <laughs> Now, I need to put a piece of paper here because I can't get away from the, um, it shows the chart. Oh, okay. And uh, the freebie Jardin Privé one that, oh, that she's got up there with the five parts. Right, right. And very so I'm good. Uh, going with very primitive colours, which is not normally been me, but I like it. I and I'm using. Gonna say, it's like totally different from the rest of them. It is, oh, and I'm using Jodora Design's um, hand-dyed fabric. Okay, cool. So she's another one you need to look at. Yeah, I've <laughs> actually come across her at some point. There's so many, it's hard to keep track of them yeah. all. Yeah. Very good. You are going to have a fun mania. And I can't wait to see them. <laughs> is Gemma doing anything with Stitch Mania? No, because once know. once we get down to level two, she'll be going back to school. Back yeah. to school. At the moment, we still have to homeschool our kids till we're at level two. And level two will just be, they'll just, as they go, see if you're ready, right? Yep. Yep. There's and not hopefully we'll, the date we'll set. find that out within the next two weeks. Okay. Wow. Mm. You know, the one thing that Mike and I are constantly marveling at is how fast time is going. You know, we're not feeling like we're, um, like it's dragging. So. Oh, the last couple of days before Dean went to work, I swear the days were dragging. Really? <laughs> you weren't feeling it then. <laughs> I love you, but go to work. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Isn't it time for you to leave yet? <laughs> As I keep telling people, because he broke his foot on the 21st of January, so he was home for six weeks. Well, he had already been home and then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was back at work for three weeks and then we're in lockdown. It's like, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, don't forget to write. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he couldn't wait to go back. He loved it. Yeah, He's I'm sure. At work. Yeah. Sure, there's a lot of people that feel that way. Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. Well, ladies, this has been awesome. Thank you very much for being my first victims. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed <laughs> it as much as You're I did. Welcome. Oh, I've been over the moon all day about it. <laughs> oh, that's great. I, you know, I've been just started to think about this like yesterday, the day before. And I was like, you know, Jan, if you're going to do it, you better hop on it because Tuesday <laughs> you be here before you know it and you have to have it all compiled and ready. So <laughs> thank you for being so willing and so available but quickly. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I don't have any plans at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of all just home waiting to chat. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All righty, I will let you go. Thanks Thank again. Thank you so much. It's been so much fun. <laughs>